this is my story. But first, let me tell you about what happened to Palestine. It's a sad story about people losing their homes to others. As you can see here, the territory of Palestine has been growing as it shrinks smaller and smaller since 1984 until now. Ali's mother, worn by the weight of uncertainty, cradles baby Ali in her arms. She searches for a safe haven amidst the chaos of Gaza. She found a tree to sit down and rest for a while. Ya Allah, please help us. You're going to be okay, Mali. People came to help Ali's mother. However, one of the people there was Ali's father. He notices that the body was his wife. In that moment, Baba's heart was so heavy with grief that it felt like a thousand ton boulder was crushing his chest. No! Ya Allah, it can't be her. <laughs> May Allah grant you with Jannah, my love. I will take care of our Ali for you. <laughs> I promise. Ya Allah. My dreams used to be big, like wanting to be a doctor like Baba and help my people. But now, just staying alive is the most important thing. I have to fight to survive against the bad things happening to us. Baba said that I used to have a lot of cousins, aunties and uncles before the war. But after the war, all that is left is me and Baba. I used to eat at a big table with Baba. Now, me and Baba have our rationed meal on the floor. Sometimes, we don't eat for days. Food comes, but it's hard since everyone is fighting for it. Baba told me that there is a place called school and kids used to learn there. Now, I just send alphabets and numbers here with my friends. Ali, Baba have something to say to you. I have to follow Hamas for their jihad activities. So, I want you to stay with your friends. I've already informed their families. Can you promise me to be a good boy, my dear? Hmm. Yes, Baba. But how long will you be gone? Ali, to be honest, I... I don't know. I can't promise that I'll be back, but I promise you, I will do my best to be back for you. Okay, my son? The next morning, Baba was ready to leave to join Hamas. Ali, remember your promise to me to be a good boy. Okay, my son? I promise you, Baba, I will behave myself. Ali. Thank you so much for your understanding, my son. I do this for our country. Our people's dignity has been trampled, discriminated against and suffered through all the years. I hope it will end in my generation. Alas, it seems futile, but we can't lose hope. out here. We'll come back for him later. Quick, there's no time. Follow me. 
Ali and Naim follow Muhammad's lead in seeking shelter. They end up in an old abandoned building, and as soon as they enter, they go into hiding. Don't cry, guys. We need to be strong for Yusuf. Think rationally. I believe Yusuf wants us to live. We need to plan where to go after this. I, I think we should go to the hospital first. That's where people go first when there's an attack. I, I, I agree. Let's find our family first. If, if one of us or me doesn't make it up here alive, please tell my family that I love them. Don't say things like that. Although I hate to agree with you. If anything happens, just leave, okay? And don't look back. Muhammad and Naim went out of hiding first, where they unfortunately encountered an IDF soldier who shot them to death. No, 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 this can't be happening again. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, mercy on me. Naim, Muhammad. <laughs> Ali, Ali, get, get a grip, please. Get a grip on yourself. Remember what they say. Don't look back. You need to move. You need to move. Find Baba. Find Baba now. My friends, forgive me for leaving you here alone. I. I promise I will come to get you again. <sighs> doctor! Doctor, you must help my friends. They were shot when we were playing outside. Are you okay, boy? Are you injured? I'm... I'm okay, doctor, but... But my friends, my friends, you have to help them. You, you have to. Please, please help me, doctor. I'm sorry, little one, but I have too many more critical patients I have to treat first. I will send someone to help your friends as soon as possible. <laughs> I should find Baba. I need to make sure that he is still alive. Ali! Ali! We need to go to the Albala now. Gaza is not safe anymore. What about Baba? Come on, Baba is also there before the medical team. Let's go now. Ali arrives in Deir Albala city with the rest of his community from Gaza city. All he can think to do is to find his Baba, as he knows that Baba should be there too. After searching and asking around the camp, he finally finds Baba in the middle of treating the wounded. Baba? Baba! Is that you? Ali? Is that really you, my boy? They both run towards each other and falls into each other's embrace. They express their feelings through the hug and both Ali and Baba are relieved to see each other again. Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful you made it here safely Ali. Are you alright? Do you have any injuries? Actually, I'm not seriously injured Baba, just a few scratches on my body but my friends Baba, they did not make it. It all happened too quickly. We were playing like we usually do. And suddenly we were attacked. I couldn't do anything, Baba. I was helpless. <laughs> Shh. There, there, my boy. Your friends, they are in heaven now. They are in better place. Shh. Baba, are we safe here? I think it is better if we move. We should move to Khan Yunis. We will be safer there. Are you sure, Baba? What if we do not make it? We have to do something, Ali. We cannot just stay here. Inshallah, 
Allah will protect us. Okay, Papa. As long as I'm with you. Ali, Baba, and a few other Palestinians make their way to Han Yunis in hopes that it will be safer there than the places they have been before. During the journey, they faced the lack of food supplies and were forced to ration their food. Baba, this is the last of our food, Baba. <sighs> Ali, would you do me a favor and finish my food? I think I already ate enough for tonight. Are you sure, Baba? Won't you be hungry? It's okay. I insist you should have it. I'm sure. There will be food for me when we reach Khanyunis. Ali and his Baba trudge along the barren road towards Khanyunis. Their weary forms barely visible against the backdrop of dust and despair. The air is thick with tension, suffocating any attempts at conversation. Baba. Yes, Ali. I... I don't know if I can keep going. We have to, Ali. We can't stop now. Baba, I can't remember the last time I had a full meal. I miss the taste of food, the feeling of being full. Uh, I miss it too, Ali. But we can't lose hope. We will find a way to make things better. I promise. Sudden chaos erupts as Israeli forces launch an assault on Hanunis. The sound of gunfire and explosion shattering the fragile peace they had found. We have to go to Rafa, Ali. It's the last safe place we can go. We have to hurry before it's too late. After safely arriving in Rafa, Baba and Ali huddle together in their dimly light shelter, the atmosphere heavy with despair. Ali... I have to go to work now. But, Baba, what if something happens to you? Don't worry, my son. I'll be back before you know it. I, you said that last time and you were almost gone for weeks. I know, Ali, but we have to hope for the best. I can't lose you, Baba. I can't. No, my dear boy. <laughs> I wish I could promise you everything will be okay. But all I can promise is that I love you more than anything in this world. Baba leaves. Ali is left alone in that desolate shelter. His heart shattered into a million pieces, knowing that his father might never return. Baba, 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 where are you? Palestinians looking for refuge. Little boy, can you tell the world what just happened? You want to know what happened? Look around you! This is what happens when the world turns a blind eye to our suffering! My father, he, he was a healer, a savior to our people, and yet even he could not escape the brutality of this genocide. How many more must die before they will see the truth? How many more children must lose their fathers, their parents? So tell me, after all that you have witnessed, who is the real terrorist now? 